going on? I'm going to do an update on the 30 gallon. We got our dwarf blue eyed plecos in here. I grew a group up and they're actually breeding now. So we got fry in here. And these guys are looking pretty good. Just put some uh, food in so they're all going nuts. This tank's got some endler guppies and some honey grommies. And some coolie louches as well. But this is one of my breeding tanks for these plecos. Uh, the guppies will be uh, most likely brought outside in the summer. So this tank runs on an AquaClear 70 with a sponge intake. There it is. And a sponge filter. And it's got a heater and the temperature is around 76 Fahrenheit. Also got some assassin snails in here. We used to have a snail problem, but now we got assassin snails that took them all out and they're actually breeding in here. There's a louch coming out of the hole there. Black goes fighting. And we're gonna show off the 65 today. Just fed them. So we got the keyhole cichlids and the grow out plecos in here. There's at least 30. I lost count. I just keep throwing them in here to grow them out. This tank's got about nine keyhole cichlids I grew out. Some are looking really good. Well, most are. Some are bigger than others. And we got honey grommies in here as well. There's one of our males. He's looking really good. So they're all in the corner here. We must have dropped some algae wafers and some uh, bug bites. So it looks like we got like one male honey grommy and a, about five females. And these honey grommies are pretty aggressive too. So there's an update on the keyholes. to 65s. This one runs on two hang on the backs Aquions. The biggest model and the medium model. I think one's a 50 and one's a, I don't know what they call them. But those are all customized inside with sponge intakes. Alright guys, thanks for watching, 420.